This is the most important op since the Bin Laden strike. This is an opportunity to cripple terrorism at its core. Talking a risk assessment. Well, the GI Film Festival kicking off last night. It was in Fairfax, Virginia, with movies telling the real stories about our men and women in uniform. And joining us live from the GI Film Festival, Fox News contributor, CEO of Concerned Veterans for America, because he is, Pete Hegseth. Pete, who is the special guest you have with you right now? Good morning, guys. We've got a lot of great special guests. I'm here with Nick Jones, who I'm going to introduce uh, shortly. Not just a film baker, but a Marine. We're out in Fairfax, Virginia. We're at the Angelica Film Center, just a, just a stone's throw from Washington, D.C., at the GI Film Festival, which is the nation's only military film festival. Over 60 films from across the country and, and, and across the world have been submitted. And the mission, it's so great as, an, as a veteran myself, to see a film festival dedicated to telling the stories of men and women in uniform. Men and women like... Nick Jones. Nick, you're not just a filmmaker, you're also a Marine, a reservist, correct? Yes, yes. And how long have you been serving? Uh, going on 10 years. And you've got a film that's under consideration here at the GI Film Festival this week. It's called Cold Choices. Tell me a little bit about it. Uh, uh, kind of similar to the, uh, the raid we just had in Iraq. Uh, the CIA pin has, has pinpointed a, uh, a high-value target, and the uh, Marine Corps, MARSOC units sent in to, to handle it. Outstanding. And so Cold Choices is premiering on Sunday at the GI Film Festival. Nick himself wore the uniform, continues to wear the uniform for the Marine Corps. Tell me about the GI Film Festival and what it means to you as a platform for a young filmmaker. This is your second film you told me as we were talking beforehand. Right. What does it give you an opportunity to do? Uh, I believe it just it, it gives veterans an opportunity to, to really just e express their voice in, in a way that isn't uh, saturated by, uh, you know, studios and, and stuff like that so I, I really think it, it gives it gives us an, an opportunity to kind of come in and and really just you know be just tell our truth uh, uh, without the filter are you, yeah, yeah. You, do you feel like it, it the un, the bias that sometimes comes with Hollywood can be stripped away and the marine <laughs> Nick can say hey this is the story of what's really going on uh, yeah. you know um, I, there are times sure but but not all yeah, yeah, yeah. Not, not, not always. Um, but, but I, I mentioned. I remember when you were looking at your film, you were talking about getting to the brotherhood and reading about why you did it. That it was therapeutic. That it was the ability to kind of tell a real, authentic story. Right, I feel like right. that's probably in your film what you're trying to do with Cold Choices. Yes, yes. And, and, and like I was saying, you know, it just kind of gets away from from all the red tape that that you could go through in in, in, in the Hollywood system. Uh, just the independent film wor world just just gives us that opportunity to kind of just really tell our voice without any type of filter. Like Absolutely. So. And why were you inspired as a Marine? What inspired you to go to the New York Film Academy? Academy and go out there and say, I'm going to put my own money on the line, and I'm going to, I'm going to put my own time and effort on the line and, and make a film. What, where did that come from? Um, you, you know, I, it was this dream I kind of had, and uh, there, there was a, a chance encounter that I had with uh, President Obama, and he kind of, you know, told me, hey, look, if this is what you want to do, uh, do it. And that was kind of like the, the pivot for me, and I was like, you know what, I, I can do it. And so I, I, I kind of made that plan. I was like, all right, I'm going to finish up my tour and, uh, you know, go to, go to film school and, and, and try and I love it. If this is what you want to do, then go after it. And that's talk about a mantra of the Marine Corps as well. Well, Nick, I wish you luck on Sunday out here in Fairfax, Virginia, at the Angelica Film Center for the GI Film Festival. You can come out and still get tickets to see yes. Cold Choices and its premiere, and it may pick up the best short film. So, Brian, Steve, Elizabeth, I'm going to kick it back to you guys. Maybe I'll even see you out here uh, in Fairfax for the GI Film Festival. If not, be sure to check out Cold Choices. It's outstanding. And Nick Jones, a Marine, a patriot, a filmmaker. We're honored to be here. I'm going to toss it back to you guys on the couch. Guys, thank you very much for your thank service. You. And your movie. Sounds great.